Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Karen Shottam, and uh, we have declared another war against the Abbasids to uh, take the uh, Duchy of Makron, which should give us enough to create the Empire of Persia. And I see some more uh, stupid raiders up there. Well, as long as they're not uh, coming down to my personal stuff, I will probably let them go. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, we do have the University of Persia almost finished with level 4. Well, not almost finished. I mean, it's 7.2% done. But considering it's stage 4, you know, it's on stage 4 of 4, uh, it's almost done. Uh, Calm Underground Palace is at 63% complete, and the Royal Palace is at 34% complete. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, I do have a lot of money on hand, luckily. Let's go. After 100 years under the Karen Shottam, the uh, Fahradid Satrapy is no longer considered a de jure part of the Kingdom of Sogdiana. Okay, that is uh, that has fallen entirely. Let's move over there. Uh, let's see. So, Dalam has uh, spread up that way. Um, it's not really doing much for us in terms of... Oh, no, actually it is. Oh. This may put the uh, Empire title out of reach. That may have put the Empire title out of reach. Is there anything else drifting in? These don't matter. That doesn't matter. Now we're a while, we're we're a ways away from that. Okay, so there is that at least. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Fergana, yeah, you need to deal with that up there, buddy. All right. Well. Got uh, armies coming in there. Construction of the feature. Wing of Secrets has finished for the University of Persia. All right. Let's uh, not answer that phone call because I don't know who you are and I don't care. Uh, we are going to take the Guardian of Knowledge. I do wish that you would be able to mouse over this and see what it did. Uh, it is kind of disappointing that you can't do that, but it's okay. Uh, so, Guardian of Knowledge. Let's start construction of that. And my mother has died a mangled mess. It's unfortunate, I suppose. Uh, the Umayyads have joined in. It's uh, not as worrying as it could have been, but uh, they do have a lot of troops. They just have to get them over here. Yeah, 20k. That's not great. Uh, you've been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. Mint the coins for glory. Well, if I were to go on a great conquest, I will need that. A noble by the name of Huyan Zero came to the court today seeking asylum. He claims to have escaped from China after the rest of his family was executed on the orders of the emperor. Oh, great Shah, your merciful nature is known across the land. I implore you to grant me refuge. It would be an untold kindness. Um... Allow Huyan Zero to stay and secretly send a letter letting the Emperor know. Well, I already have the uh, dragon amulet. Let's do that. A mystic appears. Your Astabad Jamshid is beaming. You know how Count Evtimi can be. I have I had to make sure that it was his son who mentioned it first. And then it was in and it was easy to make it seem his idea in the first place. And, well, I won't bore you with all the details, he says, clearly excited to have something noteworthy to tell me. Tell you. 
When you roll your eyes for the third time, he finally pulls it together and skips to the part about a mystic woman, allegedly traveling the whole world, strange wonders following in her footsteps. Oh, Master, I think you should invite her here. Let us hear this woman out. A woman named Idun appears at the court of Shah Berad the Wealthy. Bad news from Esfahan. Your attempts to increase the county levy have met with nothing but failure. Levy reinforcement rate minus 200%. Ew. Only for half a year, though. Pause, I said. Alright, so she is Germanic pagan, Idun. Uh, she is a mystic. Great eminence. She is a fraud. She is a fraud. There is, I think, a very, very slight chance that you can successfully uh, complete the thing despite her being a fraud. But uh, I'm not going to risk that. Brew you a potion of eudaimonia. Crushed lemongrass. Okay, they're uh, sieging down that. That's fine. Or maybe just uh, standing there. Uh, Kerman has uh, really, really stretched out. Um, I really wish that the... I wish that the, the merchant republics would override the uh, uh, Silk Road. Because this is actually kind of frustrating. Not being able to see exactly what is our vassals and what isn't in a lot of ways. Like, you can only see it outside of um, the uh, you know, on the stuff that's not actually part of the Silk Road. Uh, I brewed the potion just like the enciphered recipe dictated. Glad to be of service. Got a weak claim to be that can be pressed. What are we looking at in terms of Supply limit 12. 12. 12. And 17. Should be able to get in there and help that out. And that is 11. An intriguing encounter. You expected a wrinkled old crone, but the alleged mystic standing before you is something entirely different. Although she is very different compared to all the other women at court, no one can deny that her beauty is breathtaking. With a voice as soft as lamb's wool and tinged with a foreign accent, she introduces herself as Adun. You invite her to dine with you, and her conversation is most intriguing if not outright controversial at times. She claims to hold the secrets to eternal life and vitality, and to offer to teach you more, if you are willing to accept her quest. Um... Blasphemy! In the name of Ahura Mazda, I imprison this filthy heretic. I fulfilled the ambition to become a paragon of virtue. Works for me. Need a new Shaheen. Marshal 15. Hey, Seljuk, you can have that. Need a new commander. I guess that can be you. Got pursuit, morale damage, damage, defense. Yeah, there we go. You'll at least be uh, a little bit positive, too. And... You have no cash. So, just to uh, go over this, um, the fact that her base score is zero uh, is why it's clear that she is a fraud. If her base score was, like, nine, I think that would be an indicator that she is not. I don't know if there's a specific cutoff, but the fact that she's zero, that just says it right there. Your courtier Adun was hanged on the orders of Shah Berad II of the Karen Shadam. 
Soon after writing to the Chinese emperor, an emissary arrived with several guards. However, Huyan Zero had escaped the night before. Someone must have warned him. All the emissary said before he left was, The emperor will be displeased. What a fool I look. Dang it! It's vanished without a trace. My precious! My precious! Uh, can I send a eunuch? I could. I don't want to send either of them, though. Okay, don't care about that. Siege of Nushki. That's all there is there. Well, head up to Kalat. Uh, I don't like pulling my troops that far away. It's 145, 1332 there. Oh. Let's wait. Oh, they've decided not to uh, go that way. Usurped, that's fine. Let's wait until he's gone. A daughter was born. We're looking at Ashina and Attila blood, okay? And my steward. Steward is no longer. Not Stuart. Steward. Mmm. Stay away from my stuff. You are incapable. Well, that is extremely disappointing. Okay. You can be steward. Alright, let's get that fort rebuilt. Alright, we got these, uh... Held. I can go up here now. Wait for these to siege. Looking around. You are up there. That's fine. You are going to go out there. I don't care about that. exactly where they're going. Okay, we've uh, taken those things. Okay, let's uh, let's assault here. There we go. Get in there so we can start sieging that stuff. go see if we can uh, attack some of these armies. You are just moving around, probably just trying to join up. Don't suffer attrition, don't suffer attrition, good. I'm going to take the top holding there. Um, go over there, come over here. Rumors of the military might of the Tang Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. Um, ne Jifeng Shilu the Liberator. Okay, we have uh, occupied all of that. Ah, the Kingdom of Jia. Alright. That guy is now under the Western Protectorate. Okay, what are we looking at? You're just wandering around rather than actually trying to siege anything. Which is perfectly fine by me. Raiders have arrived in Gillan. Uh, nope. I am most definitely not doing that. Okay, they appear to be coming back. Let me, uh... Let's see where exactly they're planning on going. Wonderful. Merv. Mm. Gotta go take care of that. I'm going to assault that. Just come back down here.
Okay, army. Oh, well, we're actually at 100% already. We uh, barely had to fight him, in fact. I am perfectly happy with that. All right, Khalif. Give me that stuff. I can see the realm prosper. I think I will. I've got a bunch of wrong types of holdings. Go ahead and dock up. All of you guys get up there and see about taking care of that. Then we'll go over there. Although... I do not mind getting rid of, well, oh yeah, minus 12, yeah, let's get rid of them. Red theorem paper, I will ask for help from those around me. Okay, so, here, nothing. Here, there are two things, let's go ahead and create new vassals there. Over here as well. Uh, in Saravan and Tis. So it's not great land. There aren't that many holdings in any of it. Any of them. Uh, I had you, but you're too young right now, so that's out. I don't need uh, you marked anymore. Yeah, once she had a kid, it looks like her uh, her house changed. Uh, I could grant it to him, and then he would inherit. There's that. But I'll wait. And I don't think I need to mark you anymore. All right. Just reset that. Let's go with slot three. What do we got? All right, well, we got an 18. Let's look for the uh, the capital. It's probably Makron. Yep. You have a claim on the city of Bishopur, uh, because you were obviously a former mayor. Well, guess what? You can have a higher rank now. Macron, all right. Uh, you are pretty old, unfortunately, but uh, let's give you Chagai. God damn it. I should have looked. I should have looked keep telling myself I should look, and then I don't. Do I care? I don't care. I'll give the uh, the capital to someone else. Uh, you know, I'll make someone else the capital. They can have a, a vassal who's a mayor. The problem is, is that that's gonna... It's fairly likely to... change to, uh, um, he, he's pr pretty likely to get a, a, a different, uh, um, culture in there. I'll hold off on giving out the, uh, the title, in fact. All right, so, yes, I can, Persian Empire, I can create it. You need to control 80% of the de jure counties, and I do control 82%. Good. Creating this would give you 800 prestige, cost you 300 gold, and 400 piety. Shahan Shah Bayrod the Wealthy has created the title Persian Empire. It's kind of an ugly green, but I will accept that. We have become the Persian Empire. I can have uh, two more commanders. Um, I will have you and 
you. There we go. Anything else that we can grant out? Nope. We can restore the High Priesthood. Lose 300 piety. The Zoroastrian Church now exists. Malbadan Malbad Amin. Uh, Zoroastrian Church. He has no actual land. Uh, might be a good idea to give him some land eventually. Um... We'll see how that goes. We do have a nice, shiny, fancy new uh, logo. I appreciate that. Uh, he does kind of suck, but um, hey, you know, we have him. We do have one missing holy site that we will want. But we now have the Zoroastrian Church. I can request invasion. Valid target must be available. That's okay, um, and what do I need for the Saushant? All right, so that's still going to be uh, a little ways off, because we need Basra, Baghdad, Mosul, Jazeera, Tabriz, Azerbaijan, uh, Zabulistan, Khuzestan, Jabal, oh crap. I can get this out of it, out of him. Well, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Sort of. Might not be too bad. Um, I could probably just... Dec well, yeah, if it's a holding war, it won't be a holy war, so no one else will, like, jump in on it. So there is that. Uh, and then he'd just have to get his troops over. And that's not really that much of a problem. All right, well, we're, we are currently um, trying to see the realm prosper, so that's it's going to be a little while before that changes. And other than that, I mean, I can create some kingdoms. Uh, that would certainly help with uh, some vassal issues. We now have a 30 vassal limit. Might be able to do some laws. I could bump up uh, that. I don't care to. I do want to get um, Imperial Administration, which I need Majesty of Five. Okay, so that's going to be our next big tech goal. Majesty is not increasing on its own at the moment, so let's go ahead and bump that up. All right. Good times. We have uh, created the uh, the Persian Empire, which I guess is still just called Karen. Yeah, the Karen Empire, Persian Empire. All right. So, what do we need left? Uh, we obviously need that. Uh, we need that county, these counties, and then of course we need all of Iraq. So that's going to be uh, our next, you know, our, our long-term next goals. Um, it might be a good idea to uh, your daughter, your cousin. You're 44, so you're not going to have any kids. So there we go. Let's send you off. Get some, uh, get some points. Um, any eunuchs? He's strong. I'm not really doing anything with him, but... Yeah, I'll send him off. Whatever. Uh, I think that we will get um, help from uh, China and, and break the Abbasids. I think that's going to be um, important. Uh, the Hamdanids are still going to be a problem, but... They're not going to be a problem for what we want. So that's not really an issue. And I'm just not going to do the invasion, I think. Okay, so you are going to go up there. You guys... 
come over here for now. So we can get you to group up. Return of the High Priest. After, the, after an interlude lasting a few centuries following the Arab conquests, Zoroastrianism has returned as the state religion of Persia. Shahanshah Bayrad has ordered the reinstitution of the office of the Moabadan Mobad, Moabad, or the Priest of Priests. He will serve as the highest religious authority in the Zoroastrian world, with powers ranging from the blessing of future military expeditions to the granting of divorces to married couples. Rejoice! Yeah, I shouldn't really have anything good anyway. The Immortals, some of Persia's finest warriors, have taken it upon themselves to found a new holy order dedicated to safeguarding the Zoroastrian faith. They call themselves the Immortals, just like the ancient Persian warrior elite described by Herodotus. And they seem intent on carrying on the martial tradition of their legendary predecessors. This militant holy order has sworn to fight against all who would threaten the legacy of Zoroaster and to never again allow Zoroastrianism to suffer the reverses it did in the wake of the Arab conquests of the 7th century. The legendary warriors have returned. I'm glad my tribute is deemed decent. Okay, so you're pretty good. Uh, can... I cannot offer vassalization. Do I have an option to vassalize them? Does not appear so, but I can... Uh, I can turn 300 gold into 100 piety, so that is something to consider in the future, should I need to. Still have yet to uh, search for a smith. <laughs> I should probably do that. Get some stuff. Yeah, so uh, we also need Gilan, Samara, and Mudar. So, yeah. Oh, I needed Fergana. Fergana isn't part of the uh, Persian Empire. We also needed Kutal. Oh, you need more than just that. So do I need... Did I need uh, Kiva and Samarkand as well? I mean, because essentially that's kind of accidental. No? You just need this and this. You do not need Samarkand or Kiva. Which is kind of weird, really. Eh, whatever. I can see how my choice of tribute might seem miscalculated. What do you mean? He's He's got my bloodlines. He's got... He's strong. I mean, I was going to make him a uh, guy... But the Sammy family is a little bit too big. They do not appear to have any uh, landed stuff anymore. Well, I think... Th well, it, it doesn't matter, really, anyway. Alright, let's see if we can take care of these uh, stupid revolts. Not revolts, hordes. The Bedouin populace in Ray has embraced Persian culture. Civilized peasants? Nice. Ah, uh, that's wonderful. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright, still need this over here to convert. You are at least Persian, but uh, you kind of suck on your uh, your stats. And, of course, there's these things here that have not converted. Alright, I can get rid of you. There we go. Alright, you are moving into there. Let's go in there and uh, kill you. Steward Agravan wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants who are not paying their taxes. Um, Hamadan gets a 1.5% revolt risk. What is the current revolt risk there? 
zero, and I've got plenty of uh, things. I'll take money. I have produced an excellent paper on the planets. I will send it out at once. Jahangir the Bear of Altishar. Uyghur. And you're under China. Mm. This is not going to end uh, end well for you. You should break that relationship. How long before they put you in camps? Dare he say it's not good enough. Uh, no, I don't need the gold. Aw, uh, I don't think I'm going to get it. There might be enough people saying no. Okay, you're done. Let's get you over here. I am starting to think Zarendok might fancy me. Let's make a move. It's good to be the Shahan Shah. Yeah, they're about to get crushed there. Okay, let's go see if we can take care of them before they... Well, before they do any more damage than they have. Ah, well, enough people did endorse it. I possess a great mind. And we do have a quick child. Excellent. Okay, you have died. What did you have? Chach. Oh, I think this uh, broke things up a bit. Controls that. That's annoying. Alright, well, let's uh, get you guys moving in. Oh, oh, I, I think that uh, I have. Uh, I have lost the final um, retinue. Oh, you know what? They went to form the Immortals. That's what happened. And that's what I'm going to go with. That That is the canon now. I received news that my lover Zarendokt is with child. Hopefully she will be able to persuade her husband that, to be the real father. We can only hope. Get in there. A son was born. Who is quick. Excellent. You want her? No, 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 no. I don't think so. There we go. Right, let's go ahead and uh, disband those guys. 35k troops is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I am sad to have lost, finally, those event spawn troops. It may have actually deleted them when I became the Empire, though, actually, now that I think about it. That is a possibility. Oh, well. Doesn't matter that much. Uh, it is time to end the episode. It looks like uh, the Byzantines have taken a little bit of land back from the Tulanids. So I'm pleased with that. Um... See, you're still there. You are independent. Don't often see Burgundy get this big, and it's kind of pretty. It's kind of pretty. It's very similar to Byzantine, though. <laughs> um, at least to my eyes. I've never actually played as Burgundy. Anyway, um, we'll call it an episode here. We uh, we can still go to war against the Abbasids. Oh, well, we still need to go to war against the Abbasids in the future. Um, but we are going to be uh, letting our realm prosper for a few years. Uh, may build a great work down here. Specifically, the harbor. So I need 4,000 gold for that, but uh, I think that would be worthwhile. <clears throat> and then 
I, I kind of want to get, like, all of my personal lands here with uh, Great Works. I think that would be, uh, that would be grand. Anyway, I will see you guys next time as we continue to uh, work towards becoming the uh, prophesied uh, Saoshant. See you then, everyone.